Summer Mini Moon, Rini here, and today <clears throat> I'm going to talk about, you know, I want to talk about, you know, having a sleepless night. Well, how I did get asleep around two, but let's talk about, you know, the hang up. First, our, our foot started aching us. I don't know, it just started aching us yesterday. And you would think that, that that's something that the body could just, you know, not bring up. But sadly it is. And that was probably the first grounds of, of us having to hang up, get to sleep. Now, we go to sleep about close to 9.40. Well, we get ready to go to sleep around that time. But for some grounds, our aching foot had to keep us awake on and off to about two and after we had to get the right kind of ache killers just to take care of that then we started sweating which makes no right to us you know and then you had to play the game where you get up open a window but then it doesn't seem to be good enough so you shut the window and then your body goes, oh, well, it's still too fucking on here. So it had to come up with all kinds of forgivenesses. So then we got to sleep around two, woke up around three, fell asleep around three, woke up around five. And some sad thing is that sometimes I think the melatonin, Greek, or Hellenic borrowed word, the darken, sometimes is a hit and miss. Sometimes it works right. Other times it does not. And I know some folks out there are going to say, oh, well, it's not really meant to be a sleep help or anything like that. So, it's sad. It truly is. You know. And keep in mind, this is the only time, and keep in mind, <clears throat> it's not like we take naps during the day. Like, some folks do it. Some folks will take naps during the day. Why? I don't know. They got their own ground sake and why for it. You know, not us. Because we got stuff we have to do during, during the day. And if we're sleeping, it doesn't get done. So, yes, that's the first ground why we don't take naps. You know. How's our foot doing? Well, I guess it's kind of all right now. Now, other things you folks might ask is, well, did we eat anything before we went to sleep? No. The truth is, the last time we ate anything was around six, and that was it. So, yeah, we didn't eat anything until we went to sleep. I guilt it. I guilt it on our aching foot that's what did it had nothing to do with sleeping with the night light because we sleep at night light we've been sleeping with the night light for a year so you can't guilt it on that um and we don't guilt it on what we ate because the last time we ate <clears throat> anything was about six in the evening and that was it Now I know some folks out there might say, oh, well, some folks get, have a, have a restless or a sleepless night, but they're like, well, you did get to sleep. Yeah, spans later, you know, with no ground, sake or why for it. So when we come up is with our, with our aching foot that our brain just could not, you know, could just could not stop thinking about. You know, so that's sad. It truly is. And I know there's going to be some folks out there that think that some folks, <clears throat> sorry for clearing our throat there, but it happens. There's going to be some folks out there who think, oh, well, you shouldn't be taking anything to get to sleep. Yeah, well, if we weren't taking anything and get to sleep, our body wouldn't have gotten us asleep about 
two in the morning if it wasn't for any us taking any fingers who knows how long that would have played out so our eight foot foot was guilty of keeping us awake then oh our room's too hot which is so fucked up when you have the wind chiller going on and off during the day but whatever apparently the room was still too hot so like we said we had to go open the window and that didn't seem to work I mean okay it worked for a while and then our body wanted to play the game more hot again fuck that so it's sad but to our wisdom I don't think we woke anyone up from anything that we said or anything we did that's always the fear that anything you say and do at that time will wake anyone up even if you don't mean to do it it will happen <clears throat> you know but then I can't think that we did it so anyway, you know, talking about that sleepless night that we had, how we didn't get to sleep around till about two in the morning, which is bullshit, but I guess it's greater than nothing, right? And how was our eightful foot that was doing it? And you might say, what is our foot ache? I don't know, it just happened from time to time. Either it's out of the shoes we wear or whatever, I don't know. So anyway, Hope you all like this film, and if you do, follow us over here at Sailor Moon for Life. I, <coughs> I Sailor Small Moon, Greeny, and I hope you like this film. Bye.